Well, I'm in the back cabin of my canal boat. Um, I'm sailing around the whole of Britain uh, with my wife, Caroline, on her boat. And at the moment, we're in London. And I thought I'd create a little mini-series because we're going into lockdown again. I'm going to call it Tales from a Boatman's Cabin. And I think, really, it's just a way of showing off my archives from over the years. And the first one, I thought, was going to be um, my first um, ride across the um, Nubian Desert on an R1, 2008 Parallel World. First um, ride across the um, Nubian Desert on an R1, 2008 Parallel World. No, not the perfect bike to do it, but it jolly well did it. I couldn't find any information about anybody riding across the Nubian Desert. There was nobody that I knew that had done it. So there was no information, no roads, no nothing, just, just me. So yes, here's the start of that journey. Well, it's day two across the Nubian Desert and already the temperatures climbed to 47 degrees centigrade. And the bike's handling the, the sand really well. I managed to find mates who are, I've got a Land Rover and they're helping me carry me, my laptop. If anything goes drastically wrong or I get lost, well, well, they'll get lost with me. Followed me up this sandy track and they've got stuck now. I don't know why I'm laughing, we're in the middle of nowhere. It's not as if there's a town next, you know, just a couple of miles up, up the road that, that, that there isn't. We, we really are in the middle of the Nubian Desert. But after about 12 o'clock it starts to get hotter and hotter. It doesn't cool down until 4. As soon as the sun came up at about 6.30 it was hot and it was really hot by 10 o'clock going up to 50 degrees centigrade. It was really hot. It reminded me of being in Death Valley at a place called Furnace Creek and that was like biking into an oven. You couldn't have any skin exposed to um, to the heat or to the sun. And this, the Nubian Desert was very much like that. And the cooling fan kicked in um, on the bike at around about 113 degrees and it stayed on all day. It just gets hotter until nearly 50 degrees centigrade. So my new mates were clever. They knew how to look after themselves. Me, a sleeping bag, a tent, and nothing else. But I didn't care, because I'd scored myself a dinner. And it just goes to show that even in mad places like the Nubian Desert, you'll always find friendly people who want to help you out a little bit. And Yope and his lovely wife, they, they gave me a glass of wine occasionally when we met up in the desert and I had the odd meal with them. And then I gave them a camera and they helped me out with me filming. <laughs>